The most common form of a fake ID is a borrowed or stolen ID. The second most common form of a fake ID is the manufactured ID, and the third most common is the altered ID. On your list of acceptable IDs, the passport could be easily one of the most easily forms of identification there are to alter. A passport is valid for 10 years. People change in 10 years. For example, a person gets a passport when they are 17 years old, now they are 22 years old. The person will have changed. Passports have changed. The old style had the lamination over the picture and you can feel where the picture had been placed. This is the same passport that was put on a scanner and the documentation was changed. Note it reads, any age I want to be. The new one has the picture scanned in and laminated with a hologram over the lamination. Here's an example of the US passport card. When someone uses a passport for ID, simply ask them for a second piece of ID. In fact, any time you have questions on an ID, the first thing you should ask for is a second piece of ID. That would be anything with their name on it. You would prefer something with their name and photo on it, such as a student ID, an employee ID card, a bank card, etc. One thing should draw a red flag is if when you request a second piece of ID and the guest immediately responds with, I don't have one. Most people have more than one thing in their wallet with their name on it. There should not be hesitation before they respond. Also, you can ask the passport holder if they are from a foreign country to speak some of the language. Now, let's discuss the military IDs. Anyone who is in the military is very proud of that fact, and they should be. There's a good chance that they will show you their military ID. There are a couple of different styles. This style of military ID comes in different colors. You'll see a lot of pink ones and tan ones, as well as a blue one and a gray one. The problem with this ID is that the photo can be hard to see and this ID gets handed off to younger siblings, friends, or whatnot all the time. The information can be photocopied and then applied to the ID or a hot iron can be pressed into the ID and it'll pop open so the new information can be placed in or the back seam can be cut open with an X-Acto knife and the new information placed into the ID. The ID will then be resealed. Well, a telling feature on this ID is this. This ID has been laminated over the top, which gives it one smooth edge and one sharp edge. Run your fingers over both edges. You can also ask a military ID holder this question. What's your last four? Everything and anything somebody does that is associated with the military is with the last four. If you ask them what their last four is and they look at you with a huh, they are not in the military. <laughs> this new military ID is a credit card style. It is fairly thick. It has a color photograph. Most will have their armed force insignia, but some do not. It has a smart chip, but it does not have a physical signature. Instead, the signature has been encrypted on the chip, so it is on the ID. When you look at the back of the ID, it has a ghost photo with their information typed around the photo. This has a tendency to rub off, or it can get erased off. They can then change the birth date using stencils. To make your life easier, simply ask them for their driver's license. They got one on them. Even though Wisconsin has over 112 million visitors a year, and they will bring with them their out-of-state or country ID, the most frequent ID you probably will see is a Wisconsin-issued ID. There are different ones. In the fall of 2015, Wisconsin began issuing a new format for the driver's license and ID card. Driver's licenses that were issued beginning in March of 2012 will be valid until 2023 look like this. Horizontal or vertical, depending upon the driver's license slash ID holder's age. Those who are under 21 have under 21 printed below their picture. Those who are under 18 will have under 18 printed below their picture. Cards are valid until expiration for boarding an airplane. The Wisconsin Division of Motor Vehicles, DMV, mails all driver's licenses and identification cards from one production facility. When you get a driver's license slash ID card, you don't get it immediately. It comes in the mail. You will leave the DMV with a paper receipt valid for 45 days. The photo receipt is acceptable photo identification for voting and serves as your license or ID card until your card arrives in the mail. Customers who renew an existing license or ID card will also leave the DMV Customer Service Center with their expired or soon-to-be-expired card invalidated with a hole punched by the DMV processor. We suggest that when a paper license is presented for alcohol sales or service that you request their old punched ID to accompany the paper licenses. The Wisconsin driver's license slash identification card is issued in two physical styles. For persons 21 years of age or older, the cards are issued horizontally. For persons under the age of 21, the cards are issued in a vertical format. Notifications printed on Wisconsin driver's license and ID cards that are required by state and or federal law. A star in the upper right hand corner of the card indicates that the card is compliant with Federal Real ID Act requirements. 
not for federal purposes indicates the card is non-compliant with Federal Real ID Act requirements. Limited term indicates that the license or ID card holder is a non-immigrant temporary visitor with legal status in the United States. Non-domiciled indicates that the CDL license holder is a non-immigrant temporary visitor with legal status in the United States.